And it's green for go in Palar and Sal Andor and Nino Schurter smiling on the start line, but it's Lucas Schwarzbauer who wipes that smile off his face and makes the first full of puddles to Bose alongside him, as was Saru. And they are all safely away from the line and they head out onto the start loop, but it's Schwarzbauer in the engine room at the front. Yeah, Lucas Schwarzbauer leading here on this first climb. In the purple kit and number four on his bike. Joshua Dubois is locked on behind him. In the blue of Rock Rider for the National Champs jersey of Italy. Luca Brido is in contention as well, just behind the red jersey yeah. of Jordan Saru. Jordan and it's Saru, getting good a start. tight pin. Pierre de Foimont caught up there in a little bubble on the inside as they head down in this multi line section. The first descent, a chance to hopefully thin them out on this start loop. And these riders, they know as well, a good start is uh, very important. They will have uh, first another climb before they're entering the forest, and in that forest there is this single track. Schwarzbauer leads them up the hill, but Dubot moving up on his left-hand side in the dark green and blue. There's Saru in the red jersey for BMC behind them. Tiguan Caro with him, the highest we've seen him Wondering where so the far this season. Is, and there he comes in the white kit. There is Tom Pidcock in the white jersey in the rainbow stripes of the UCI world champion moves past Lars Forster, himself a winner in Liagang earlier in the season. And it is uh, Nino Schurt on the left side of him. Uh, so Schurter got swallowed up at the start then and is having to fight his way back to the front. Tom Pidcock as well. No his way around, he's picked a good one in Jordan Saru. But what a start for Lukas Schwarzbauer, pushing oh. hard. Matthias Fugger, he's with, with him. Matthias Flukiger looking good here. and Yeah, he I, likes to ride in the red conditions, in the slippery conditions. He's very fast in the descents. I fancy his chances today, but I think whenever you combine the altitude and the weather, things are very, very tough. And as I said at the start, Matthias, he likes it when the conditions are tough for everyone. Yeah. He really comes to the fore then. It is. I asked Josh Carlson earlier in the week what effect as a rider altitude has, and he said, imagine running up and down your stairs 10 times and then trying to get your, your breath back through a straw. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is. <laughs> that's what it feels like. <laughs> I didn't take him up on the offer to try it right enough, but... Yeah, it feels horrible. It's a really strange sensation. Even moving around, you do feel it up here. It is, yeah. Walking around, walking the stairs or uphill. And for Team BMC, two UCI World Cup wins to his name. So Two Matthias. French national championships. Look at Flukiger through this yeah, descent. Matthias, Matthias Flukiger leading here and opening the gap to Lucas Schwarzbauer. You can just see how glossy those root, those rocks and roots look. The rubber mat on that bridge as well. Super, super tricky. And he's not holding back at all, Matthias Flukiger. No. It really is. Martin Bloom taking it a bit a, more carefully. Such a balancing act, this course. You've got to descend fast. Look at Pidcock through there. Oh, he almost hit that... Uh, Bloom's... Mount, yeah, yeah Scherter's in, Scherter's in. Rear flat. It's a rear flat. Swaps glasses. Clear vision for Nino Schurter, stands well back. But this costs a little bit of time, 30 seconds, more like normally. Let's Yanni. If everything goes perfect. Let's Yanni, his mechanic, earn his money. Yeah, the famous mechanic of the Scotch Ram team. Can take a drink. Oh, that's a shame. It's a gel, yeah. yeah. He could have lost a lot more time if it had happened to him further around, but this is a slow change, whatever's going on. You can see the mud clinging to that bike. Yanni gets the bike into gear, hands it back to its pilot, and Schurter takes off. And now we are going to have to see some fireworks because Nino Schurter's got a job on here. Matthias Flukiger. Flukiger still attacking up out of the saddle on that horrible, horrible wet grass climb just before he drops into this wood section. A couple of line choices, heads to the left hand side. Feeling, feeling strong, feeling good. Looks like it's drying quickly, actually, the course. It actually does through there, doesn't it? There's one line. I'd rather you than me. There's actually some snow in the mountains here this morning after that it? storm last yeah, night. Must yeah, be, must be when it's the temperature where you fell this morning here on this elevation and it goes uh, much higher here in the mountains. It must, it must have been snow on the top. Yeah, Bart and I battling through. Wasn't much sleep to be had in Andorra last night with a storm that hit town around about four in the morning. Thunder and lightning like you've never heard. There's Vlad Descalu on the right-hand side, the number 14 trek. 
Oh, Schwartzbard, one yeah. there, just did a little bobble there. A lot of time, a foot out for him. Lost a little bit of time. It's another awkward little turn, though, down that shoot. You kind of arrive into it hard on the brakes. And Saru. And Saru you alongside see the rain Schwartzbar. Look at the rain falling here in Pal Aronsal, Andorra. Cross country mountain bike racing, always thrilling, but even more so when it's a wet race. Saru blast past Schwartzbauer. Schwartzbauer moves back over. It's his teammate Grio behind him. Yeah. Back to the front of this chasing trio then. So he's pulled a couple of seconds back. It's now Thomas Grio coming to the front of that chasing group. Do you think Grio's been keeping his powder dry here a bit, letting these other two do the work? And now. At least motivate each other if you have your teammates uh, around you. Yeah, the, the race is not over yet. I mean, also Matthias, he's, he's uh, struggling. And again, between the, between the weather and how altitude can all of a sudden just snap you. Grio. 23. And he'll it, has be, been, it has been 32. He'll be able to see him soon. And you see the way how he's riding. He looks, his expression on his face, the, the, the way how he's pedaling. It looks strong. It looks Thomas Grio. That's the difference in between 10, 22 seconds again. You see this part of the course. Thomas Grio is, uh, is fast all the time. Squares that corner off. Yeah, you can see that mud the looks like it's, it's starting to solidify moment. a bit. Yeah, it's getting tacky. It does. The arm warmer's coming down. Business time there. That's Grillo. the difference in between these two. That's less than 22 seconds. It's less. Grio. Well, we've talked about how big a win this would be for Matthias Flukiger. Now we see the expression on his face. Now he's pushing hard. He knows. And there is uh, yeah. Ochoa. Ochoa, Geraldo Ochoa. He already had it. What's Technical going on there, problem. Then? It's deep into a race with all those roots and all those rocks outside. Nine seconds, seven seconds, whatever it is, can disappear in a heartbeat as Matthias Flugiger then leads the race on the last and lap. But there is the rider hunting him down. Toma Grillo closes in. One to go here in Pal Aronsal, Andorra, and it might just be a battle royale. The final lap. Look at this. Even from here, you can tell what rider that is. 18 seconds. Matthias Flukiger has gone on the attack here, and he has distanced Tomo Grillo. But what can Grillo do in this climb? In the zone. The tongue's back out. The work ethic from Matthias Flugiger has been unbelievable in this race. It's looking bar every World Cup we go to now. I mean, Lucas Schwartzbar said it. It's who can dig the deepest. Like it's just. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Look, like uh, we saw Nino Schurter's performance in Lenzerheide. As I said, whenever he attacked every millimeter off yeah, it, we're seeing yeah. Matthias Flukiger here. The depths they're having to I mean, go it, to it, now. It, it comes down to details now these days. Everything has to be perfect from the start on. Everything has to go perfect. Perfect positions. Hitchcock. Marauding weight all over the back of the bike of Saru like a cheap suit as they head into the pump track section. But where is Matthias Flückiger? He must be almost there at the finish line. Matthias Flückiger is probably back of the van reading the paper by now. He's that far <laughs> out in front, but you can't take your eyes off this battle for third. Yeah, this is an interesting battle for the world champion. Again, here he goes, Tom Pitcock up the inside of Jordan Saru. Great spatial awareness from Pitcock there, but now Saru comes up the inside of him. Meanwhile, Matthias Flukiger celebrates. Matthias Flukiger wins in Palar in Salandora, his first win since Lea Gang last season. And a good dose of redemption for Matthias Flukiger. What a ride that was from the Swiss rider. Toma Grillo, well, he gave it a good dig. He got within eight or nine seconds of Flukiger, but Flukiger just found something else. But his best result of the season so far. But we need to see what's crossing the line behind him, and it's going to be Tom Pitcock. Tom Pitcock heading for third place from buried deep in the grid. Heads up the start, finish straight. The UCI world champion. What a way to back up the stripes today. Casual as you like, third place. Yeah, what a performance.
you have to feel for Jordan Saru. He didn't put a pedal wrong all race. But decent handful of points for Saru. Yeah, but the depth of the field is so deep. Flugiger, Grio, Pidcock, Saru, Schwartzbar are your top five. Then Lars Forster, Tietwan Carew, Thomas Litcher, Vlad Descalu and Vital Albin in 10th. Luca Braido was 11th, Nino Scherer in 12th, just out sprinted by the Italian at the line. Marcel Guarini, Ochoa, Blooms, Campos Motos, Dubo, Koretsky back in 25th. Filippo Colombo on his return in 26th, didn't see much of him. The biggest smile in Andorra belongs to Matthias Flukiger. Back in winning ways. His last cross-country Olympic distance win, Lea Gang last season. It's been a journey since then, but he's back. When the conditions are at their toughest, this man finds something else. Matthias Flugiger wins in Palar and Sal Andorra, the fifth round of the UCI Mountain Bike World Cup Cross Country Olympic for the elite men. And it is still all to play for. You can't take your eyes off this championship for one second. In 2023, Flugiger, Grio, Pitcock, Saru, and Schwarzbar are the top five. Here are the overall standings and Nino Scherter leads the way from Matthias Flukiger now by just 29 points after that win. Lucas Schwartzbar moves down to third, 60 off him. Jordan Saru, 72 off him. So those top four positions, you can throw a blanket off over all four of them. Forster, Grio, Haverly.